morning. Game Geek here. It is 7.29 and we're doing one of these again. We're about to head off to Insomnia Gaming Festival. So it's going to be a little bit different today. Because last time we went, we were filming for YouTube. Now, I've got none of that to film. So it's going to be just a little bit of fun, just for me this time. Do what I want, enjoy. And uh, yeah, it'd be different to see the festival from that point of view rather than from trying to film and you know get as much as possible so yes hopefully i can meet some awesome people as well and uh, have a good saturday it is freezing cold and it is early so i'm going to get underway guys welcome to another day in the life thingy So we're doing very good for time. Uh, it's just ticking up to nine o'clock now. So I think we can we can stop and have some breakfast because I have not eaten. Uh, hungry as someone who's not eating. Get back on the road. So, people, there's queues. There's big. There's big queues already. And uh, I'm just going to go and park now. I'm here. Um, it is 10:43. So, not part of the early birds, but because we've got press pass, we can skip queues and stuff. So, it's all all good. Let's get parked. Okay, so we're parked, and uh, so today it's a lot easier. Don't know if I'm prepared for it. We'll see. There we go, but it's only interesting to see like, the differences when it's hitting to be a live event, what there is to do. Also, we can see the side men stand up. Apparently, it's a big, it is bigger this year and better, and they've got more of a stand. and we are ready to go. Uh, we're in the first hall, which uh, it looks almost the same at the moment. I will have a bit of stuff moved around, because we'll have a look around, explore, and see what happens from there, really. It's time. There you go. perfect for all your gaming needs and you can have a go over here on the G bus so definitely come and check it out and you could even possibly win yourself one to take home and play on your own setup go to gaming.logitech.com to check out more information I've been Geek and have yourself a great day so I ended up here at the Logitech booth behind me I only went to do the first lot of videos that they're doing at the booth about their keyboard and mics but now as you can hear from my voice I've been actually helping out there for the past while so yeah so as i got a little a little minute break you could probably hear my voice is going uh recording behind me a little bit of break um i went in there thinking i was just not gonna do very much for a little while and uh walked around was like ah oh, this is all right i'll just hang around and stuff got pulled into the logitech booth and uh it's been hectic like we've got people up doing little bits about the products giving them vip badges and stuff it's been really really cool actually i quite enjoyed it um, it's been quite hectic and I'm tired. My voice is pretty much dead, but uh, but yeah, it's fine. It's great, and uh, it's really busy. Like honestly, I was a little prepared for it to be a bit busy. I thought oh, it'll be a little bit busy, but it's like a lot bigger uh, this time of year than it is in November. The November one's a lot smaller. Uh, not to say it wasn't good and I didn't enjoy it, but uh, yeah, it was great. It, I can definitely see why it has the title as the uh, UK's biggest gaming festival. Back in November I wasn't so convinced, but right now it's pretty awesome. And honestly, at the moment, apart from the latest, hottest games, that's the only thing that Eurogame I have to offer. It's because it's this time of year and the games have been announced. This is all community-based and uh, I think a lot of people enjoy that, spending time with the YouTubers, getting stuff signed, watching YouTubers on stage. Their big stage is definitely uh, something that uh, is unusual about this event, especially compared to things like Eurogamer, where they do have developers' conferences and stuff. But it's not quite the same as the massive stage where they have their KSI up on stage singing his new song Lamborghini and shit. I say singing, let's 
rapping or whatever it is that he's doing his thing doing his thing i think is the best way to say it and uh yeah it's been really good it's been enjoyable and i'm just gonna die and go back in and, and just finish and then die and stuff yeah so yeah it's not it's not a big video it's not a really entertaining one i would say but i do these every time and if i didn't do it for this event i think it would be a little bit silly of me so yeah I, i'm not gonna sign out because i'm probably gonna film a little bit more so uh, i'm just gonna i'm just gonna chill out for a minute just enjoy the peace no. So that's it from the Ricker Arena, which you can see behind me. I've got uh, some some Logitech gaming swag here uh, for doing what I did on the stand. Got a hoodie as well. I'm basically brand new Logitech right now, which is not a bad thing. They make good products. So yes, I don't know what else to say, guys. I'm knackered. I just sat and watched Syndicate and stuff on the stage, just on top of the uh, Logitech bus, just chilling out there. With some drinks, of course. Guys, I'm gonna head back now. I'm gonna wrap up, that's gonna be it. So I got a three hour drive back and I'm tired. It's seven o'clock, I think it is. It's been a great day. I'm sorry the video hasn't been that amazing, but honestly, there's not been much to show you. Hopefully you've enjoyed being with me anyway. And uh, yeah, tomorrow I'm jumping off the cliff. And I mean that in a good way. I'm doing an abstract, as you guys know, for charity. This will be up after that, I'm afraid, but uh, stay tuned for the video of that. I'll be using this very GoPro and I will be terrified. Uh, if I recover after today, that is. But I have to do it. I haven't got a choice now. We raised over £300, which is absolutely amazing. So, guys, from Rico Arena, drink tea and game on. Sorry, just really quickly before we end the video here. Guys, this is uh, actually a little bit later on than uh, the event, it's several days afterwards. But uh, I just wanted to say um, a big thank you to everyone that came and say hello at the event. I was just so tired at the end that I just forgot to mention it. Um, I saw plenty of you guys who watch my videos and you're all amazing. Uh, you know who you are. I, every time I go to these events, I always tell myself, like, bring out the camera and film the interaction with you guys and put that up as a thank you. But every time I get so involved with that conversation with that person, I just genuinely forget to do that. And afterwards, I'm like, oh, damn it, I've got, I'm going to have any good to show from the event so next time if you guys meet me just to say to me geek pull out the camera and uh, we'll uh, definitely get you involved in the videos because uh, I forget every time I'm pretty hopeless but uh, I just want to say uh, how much it means to me when I do meet you guys you're always very awesome and uh, yeah it just it just drives me to want to continue what I'm doing as uh, yeah the support is awesome so big thanks you guys uh, I really enjoyed the event it was fantastic um, I've got the keyboard right here on my desk right now and we'll try it out, so stay tuned for the review of the Logitech G910. But, as always guys, I'll see you next time, drink tea and game on.